Today we're looking at shapes, in particular the square. Your target today is to play with and make arrangements with the shapes. Can you use the shapes for different tasks? And can you name the shape that we are looking at today? Have fun! Hello, Mrs Stevens here. We're going to be looking at that, this special shape called a square. Do you remember I said it was called a special oblong? Because all the sides are the same size. It doesn't matter which way we turn it round, it still looks the same. Because the edges are the same size. It has one, two, three, four edges. And one, two, three, four pointy corners. Called a square. A square. Now, unlike circles, squares can't roll because they have corners. And the corners stop them from rolling. You've never seen a ball that shape, have you? It wouldn't work because it wouldn't roll. You've never seen a wheel that shape. It just wouldn't work. I've been on a square hunt around my house to see what I could find that, is, that was a square. Now, it was quite tricky to find something that was the same, had the same size sides all the way around. I just found a few things that I could pick up and move. I found a coaster, that's what you put your drink on your cup or your glass. I found a clock. Now my clock's got a square in there but it's also square all the way around the outside. So that's got two squares on it. I found a box. It's square on that side. The lid is square and the box is square. Oh, it's got a circle on it there, look. I found a book. Most books aren't square shapes, so this is a bit of a special book. All the sides are the same size, the same length. It's got a square picture frame there as well on the front cover. And I found a cushion. That's a square shape. Now that's all I could find in my house that I could pick up and move. So, I'm going to show you some photographs of some things in my house that I found that were a square shape, but I can't pick them up and move them. Shall we go and have a look? Let's go on a square hunt. Let's have a look at the squares I found around my home. Tiles on the wall. A square light switch. The bottom of a soap dispenser container. The side on a dice. A square pattern on a door. Can you go on a shape hunt around your house and see where you can find some squares? Can you find all the squares in this picture? Can you count how many squares there are? Hello. Right, I said I would show you how to talk, make some circles so that you can cut them out and make pictures or make different arrangements with them. So you can do this in two different ways. You can find something that is square and draw around it. I'm going to use a felt pen just so that you can see the marks I make. You have to be careful using the felt pen in case it marks whatever you're drawing around. So you'd probably be best to use a pencil. 
So whatever you're drawing around, you have to hold very still and draw around all four edges. When you take it off, you've made a square. You can do lots of them. And you can do different size squares if you want to. If you've got some things that are different size squares, you can draw around your different size squares and cut them out. Now, another way, actually, if you're going to, I've drawn that on paper, but if you're going to cut them out and make arrangements with them, um, it would be a good idea if you drew them on cardboard because cardboard would last longer and it doesn't rip so easily. Now I couldn't find any cardboard but what I have got is an empty cereal box. If you ask an adult to help you, well you might be able to do it yourself. Cut, what, cut the side off the cereal box all the way around the edges. Oh, I've got some cereals coming out of this box. And then back up the long side. Okay, once you've cut your side off, if you turn it over, you've got a lovely plain piece of cardboard. So then you can do your squares on the cardboard either by drawing round something that's square or by drawing lots of lines and making squares and then you can cut them out. Right, it's a little bit more difficult cutting out card but it's good for strengthening your muscles in your hands and fingers. Okay, And then you can colour that in if you want to. Colour it in different colours. So you've got lots of squares of different sizes and different colours. Now the other way of making some squares, and you might need to have an adult to help you do this, is to get a ruler and a pencil or a pen and draw some lines across the page. Okay, if you draw some lines across the page, and then you draw some lines going down the page. Make sure your lines are very, very straight. Okay, and you might end up with squares of different sizes if you do it like this. Okay, so you can go all the way down the piece of paper and then turn your ruler around so that you go down on the page down the page and then can you see how it's making squares by doing that you can cut them out and colour them in here's some that I did before I coloured these in two different colours I've got some green ones and some purple ones I did these out of paper you could do that on the card as well and then you will get some squares that would last a little bit longer. Now, I can use these squares to make a picture or an arrangement. If you don't want to colour them in, another good idea would be to draw them on coloured paper. And then you don't have to colour them in. So I'm just going to make a pattern to begin with. Purple, green, purple, oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Purple, green, purple, green. I've got room for one more there, so I'm going to put a green one. And I've made a colour square pattern. I could rearrange these to put all the green ones together and all the purple ones together. Oh look, I've got one less purple one. Let's put one more. Okay, I might like to use my 
picture, use my squares to make a picture. So I'm going to use my big square and my smaller squares to make it a house. I'm going to put some windows in my house. I'm going to draw a door and you can stick them on if you want to. So you can rearrange all your squares into different patterns, different pictures and see if you can make something lovely. You might like to stick them down when you're happy with what you've made. No. A square roof for my house is not very good. We really need a different shape. That shape will be on the next video, so watch out for that. Have fun with your squares, making patterns, making arrangements and making pictures. Thank you for watching. Can you find the squares in this picture? How many squares are there? Can you count them? Here's another picture made from shapes. Can you find the squares in this picture? Maybe you can find the circles as well. Can you practice drawing some squares? You might like to draw them on a piece of paper or maybe outside with a paintbrush and some water. Have fun drawing squares and maybe you could send us a picture of your squares you've been doing or any places where you've found squares. You could pop it on the WhatsApp group or an email or send us your drawn pictures in the post box. We look forward to seeing them. How do you think you did after watching this video? Can you make different arrangements with the shapes that you have made? Can you use the shapes for different tasks? Can you remember the name of the shape we have looked at today? If you can do all those things, well done. If you can't, don't worry, we'll have lots of practice when we're back in school. Don't forget to ask your adult to take a photograph of what you've been doing and pop it on our WhatsApp group or send us an email with the photograph. You could also draw a picture of some squares, uh, a picture that's got some squares in it or a picture of your arrangement of squares and pop it in our post box. We'd love to see your work. Thank you.